Hey everybody, Pastor Warnock here. I am just so deeply grateful for all the amazing things that happened at Ebenezer Baptist Church over the course of the past year. 2023 was a year for the books. Check out this video. It is our annual report. Let's rejoice in what God has done. And we know that even greater things are in store for 2024. God bless you. Keep the faith. Keep looking up. God's love is all around, and we are so thankful for the extraordinary ways God continues to show up in our midst. If your enemy cannot destroy you, he will try to distract you until you destroy yourself. We launched the One Ebenezer Generosity Initiative and exceeded our goals for pledged commitments. My name is Deacon Clarice Conley, and I'm saying yes one Ebenezer by committing my time, my talent, and my treasure over the next three years. After a year of studying, discernment, and preparation, 15 new deacons were ordained on Palm Sunday. Bless them that they might be a blessing to the church, and the church might be a blessing to the world. I've been watching for three years from Rome, Italy, not Rome, Georgia. <laughs> And I uh, really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Wow. That's Ebenezer everywhere. Ebenezer everywhere. Ebenezer everywhere. An Ebenezer delegation traveled to our partner church in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to teach, train, and help launch a social justice ministry. Good morning, Ebenezer Baptist Church. Good morning, Ebenezer everywhere. Our missions team traveled to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and provided much needed aid to homeless women and children. They provided educational items, toys, books, and more. Our Atlanta-based outreach and missions ministries have a long-standing tradition of bridging the gap for those in need. We are partnering with the Martin Luther King Senior Community Collaborative. All right, here we go. And Choose Healthy Life Missions to provide free health screenings. And we provide showers, clothing, groceries, along with fresh food. This year, we teamed up with the Black Church Food Security Network to bring farmers markets here to the old fourth ward. I happen to think that mass incarceration is Jim Crow's most obvious descendant in America today. Pastor Warnock's vision helped to birth the multi-faith initiative to end mass incarceration and we were proud to host the second national conference. They were literally expelled from the legislature simply for being African-American. This year, EMI led narrative change trainings online and in Georgia, Los Angeles, and Dallas. The opening worship service for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference was held at Ebenezer. And so it's with pleasure that we present the Ella Jo Baker Award to you, my brother. During the conference, Pastor Warnock was awarded the Ella Baker Freedom Fighter Award. From the SALT Ministry for Seniors to the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, to Young Adult and College Ministries, to the Married Couples Ministry. From Heritage and Veterans Ministries to small groups and birth month clubs, and many, many more. Ebenezer has over 50 vibrant and thriving ministries. We thank God for the gift of fellowship and for the opportunity to minister outside of the church wall. Turn the world right back up again! We had a phenomenal women's season and an amazing men's season as well, each packed with powerful preaching and activities that brought us closer to God and each other. What's up, Ebenezer? What's up? We love to see our children and youth excited to learn, ignited for God, and ready to serve. My name is Elizabeth Jennings, and my name is Rob Washington, and this, this is Ebenezer's Kids News. I love Ebenezer because Ebenezer demonstrates the love of Christ. Somebody asked her, how in the world did you make it through the mob? They said, Some, all these folk out there, angry faces, yelling and screaming and throwing things. She said, well, we were living in New Orleans, and I just thought it was Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> I do!
for you to walk into this week like there's a party. Come on, man. We are a God-centered, faith-rooted people. We believe in lifelong learning that includes children's chapel, Sunday school, Bible study, small groups, and navigating our world to help us stay rooted in God's Word. To sing, even when it doesn't make sense, Sing from your soul until your mind catches up. Thank God for the servant leaders who give the very best of themselves in honor of God and in service to Ebenezer. For a church that cares for one another. A congregation that tackles struggles of mental health in everyday existence. For a spiritual home where our beloved are baptized, where wedded unions are celebrated, and babies are blessed. For a sanctuary that holds our celebrations and sorrows. Thank God for Willie Christine King Farris. She, she was the blessed beneficiary of a family that passed on to her freedom faith. Her people taught her how to stand. There's no accident that she became a teacher. It's no accident that she became a lifelong educator. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Through it all, Ebenezer is still making history. I want to thank you for the honor of inviting me to be called to America's, America's Freedom Church. I say this with all sincerity. I stand here humble, being the first sitting president of the United States to have an opportunity to speak at Ebenezer Sunday service. CNN for Jackson, the Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock will win re-election in the Georgia Senate runoff. We are so proud of our senior pastor. Pastor Warnock made history again as the first black senator to serve a full six-year term from the state of Georgia. Marginalized people came together and established a church. A church that would then speak to the whole nation. America is better because Ebenezer is. Ebenezer is the spiritual home for justice and an avenue for growing in faith. This is where God's people gather to love one another as God so loved the world.